Dave Hirschman, AOPA pilot. Eric Krauss, Vans Aircraft. And Eric and I just returned from a, a demo flight in this 2026 version of the RV-12. And I'm kind of thinking of it as the post-mosaic RV-12 because it's got really significant differences in both the creature comforts and the performance. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. We took the time to take, you know, put some new seats in it, put a parking brake in it, uh, put new wheels and brakes, um, but we also spent the time to make it more reliable. We wanted to get something that we could fly in IMC um, and also meet the new mosaic rule. So we added a heated pitot tube, um, redesigned the radiators, um, redesigned the fuel pump and fuel system around that. We got a little more vapor lock tolerance out of it, uh, as well as adding a backup alternator to give us that extra power we needed for it. Right, and to me, the big screaming headline across the top is, you can fly this airplane IFR in IMC. Yep, yeah, that's what we're excited about. Flight training, you know, they're using it right now for support pilot through through CFI, uh, but now you can through you know, do actual IMC flight with it. Makes it a little more practical to do instrument training in the airplane, uh, and also you know fly in IFR if you want to go out to the coast and fly through marine layer. The airplane's perfectly capable of doing it. Now let's just talk about the uh, the things that you touch because it seems like in this airplane and any airplane the things that you touch have sort of an outsized impact on the enjoyment and the experience of the flight. And with this one, you know, we've got the seats you obviously touch every flight, the stick grip, interior panels, and to me, it was that pedestal mounted throttle instead of the sort of spring type vernier throttle that comes out of the panel. Those things make a tremendous difference. Yeah, if you're coming from a ULS airplane, the IS has a lot of improvements. Um, with 2026, we took that even a little bit farther. We re redesigned again the throttle mechanisms. So it feels a little different, a little nicer, a little more sturdy. Um, we did change to all leather interior on this airplane. It also has memory foam. So that two hour flight we just did, it, it's a little more comfortable the whole time. Um, the other thing, we listened to the flight training environment and users um, and changed from the, the, the bulkier stick grip we have to the new Tostin stick grip, a little more ergonomic, a little easier to grip onto. I think it'll work for more hands. Right, and, and then with the, uh, the panel, you got the, uh, the two Garmin G3Xs. You've got a takeoff go around switch and an autopilot. This airplane has the sort of the basics of the technology that will, will take people all the way up through the you know, G3000 type avionics suites. Yeah, so I mean, this airplane is technically advanced as well as IFR and now IMC capable. So the students that get in the airplane on day one will have that technically advanced time in their logbook for everything they do in the airplane. Um, if your flight school has multiple airplanes, they're gonna be in the same avionics in, in all of them. So the dual G3X, GTN 650, GMC 507 autopilot, and then that's all paired through the auto panel with GMA 245. It's all very cohesive and something you'll find in all the future airplanes you fly. And, and, and if someone comes and learns to fly this as a student pilot, how far through their ratings can they go in this airplane? Yeah, you can start at sport pilot if that's what they want. We find a lot of people are going for, for private pilot, but you can take that all the way through CFII. Standard instructor through instrument instructor. Wow, that's a tremendous amount of versatility at a, at a plane, in a plane that burns how much fuel per hour? You know, in the training environment, 3.8 gallons an hour. And how many of these airplanes are active in flight schools now? In schools, we have over 115 and, and, and more being delivered every month. And uh, it sounds like you're gearing up the factory to make even more. Yeah, I think you guys took a tour of that, but you'll see all the new space we have going in over there. We are expanding, um, increasing the rates. We see the demand for the airplane increasing. Um, and with Mosaic, we think that's only gonna go even higher. So we're trying to gear up for that now. All right, well, good luck with it. And, yeah. it's, and I sure enjoyed the demo flight today. Yeah, thanks, Dave.